Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. I'm actually going to kill this dwarf first. Because he's actually the less dangerous of the two. I think. Neither is really all that dangerous though. So I'm not concerned. But I would like to... No, I can't. Um, I can pop into the city and then pop back out. Yeah, actually, the this is definitely the more dangerous party. Although... This is actually really easy um, experience. Because he's running away. Can't really do anything to me. And we should get... Yeah, a fair bit. Got 80. Definitely worth it. And now we can pop back into the city and hang out here for the rest of the turn. Gonna send the Bone Lord up here to deal with her. Um, he won't be able to chase her down this time, though. So she's going to get away. Which is not cool, but we'll deal with it. And then we're going to send her down towards that runestone mana. And I want to hit up this magic shop as well. See if they've got anything worthwhile. Because if I can get some decent... Either Empire or Mountain Clan spells. Maybe something like healing. Healing would be awesome to have. Preferably the Mountain Clan's variety, considering I'm just about to get some runestone mana. And I don't have any life mana anywhere. Although there is some right down here. And if I'm able to take that and hold it having an empire spell or two would be really nice so I can actually use it. But we'll see what we've got and how expensive it is. Spells typically sell for a lot of money. At least the higher level ones. The only ones worth getting really. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to chase her down, really. I don't want the Bone Lord to get into Legion territory. Because he has no units to back him up. Maybe I should put something into his party. Even just reviving that ghost would be helpful. Alright, so how much healing did we get done here? Mm, enough to keep going forward. Enough to take this guy out. Because again, we should be able to take these guys down in one hit. Pretty cool. And we actually get an item from him. And we can take this out pretty easily, I think. We have a chance to kill them before they attack as well. well there goes one. Hopefully the other as well. There we go. No damage taken. Well, that worked out pretty well. We'll send the Bone Lord back home for now. 
And then we'll plant a rod down here. Well, we can't quite make it to the edge, so here we'll have to do. And how much gold? Yeah, we just spent a bit of it, so have to wait another turn or two. Actually, we're 10 gold off, or we will be 10 gold off at the beginning of the next turn. That's alright though, we still have to take out these rod planters anyway. And we don't get too much experience from them. Well, we'll send the Bone Lord out. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll hire a new ghost before I do that, though. It only costs about 50, I think, so it won't hold us back much. In terms of, uh, finances. And then that should keep the leader in place long enough for us to kill her. Okay, let's take... Ooh, wow. Not as powerful as the last one. But he actually got a chance to attack here. Huh. Well, even though he was less powerful, it did not work out as well for us. Well, we can do this one pretty easily. As long as Brian doesn't miss anybody. Ouch. Yeah, okay, he was level two. That would be why. That kind of sucks. I don't think I've got a life potion. No, I don't. So I'm going to have to spend the money on reviving him. Uh, not what I wanted to be doing, really. I don't have gold to throw around like that. There we go. Able to take her out. Although I will be getting that next gold mine over there. In a couple turns. Ugh. Eventually, once my Banshee gets over there. And hopefully, I'll find a shop soon. I can sell my junk. And then I'll have plenty of gold. to fix all the mistakes I've made. This was a really bad place to end my turn. There we go. Don't need to be staring at a patch of black the whole time. Of course, this didn't really help. Ugh, come on, do something in my vision. Finally. Didn't really do anything I could actually see. He just moved away. Well, let's check out what's in here anyway. Holy armor. That is actually really useful. I would love to get that. Call to arms. Also really useful. This is not as useful. But if I have the extra mana for it and the extra money, I might end up getting it. 
but these are expensive spells so I won't be able to get them just yet uh, I think I'll attack the elf first yeah might as well attack him first get him out of the way and then go back to the city and <sighs> well build the temple for 300 gold and then revive for another 400 gold oh boy Definitely an expensive mistake. That's alright though. We can recover. I mean really, that was 700 gold. Such a waste. And watch, this next uh, chest over here will be a life potion or something. Just to rub it in even more. Ah, well, hopefully we can uh, find a shop and we can get back most of the gold that we just lost there. So I think I still have a talisman actually that I can sell for a really good amount of money. I have no idea what these guys are. Just like barely on the edge of my vision. But at least I know they're there. Okay, what is this? A potion of air warding. Completely useless. That'll be a bit too tough. As will that, and that. So will that, holy. Uh, but actually... Actually... He'll be damaging the skeleton that doesn't matter. Or, well, the one that's fully healed at the moment. So I can deal with that pretty easily. Okay, cool. Gonna have more gold next turn. And I'm starting to wonder if the legions are in an area where I really just don't need to be at all. And in that case, I'll have to go back there just to, you know, clear it out. Or whether there's an alternate path into the elven territory over there. We'll find out fairly quickly, I think. Considering we're right next to the elves. And if we ever see any legions down here, that'll be a dead giveaway. Or if we see any of the other two races up there, I suppose, as well. But so far, I haven't. Holy, enough with the rod planters. This is the worst part about uh, the higher level difficulties is they give these guys so much money and so many units that they can just send out wave after wave of rod planters. It's really annoying. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Well, if he attacks, we're going to lose something. That much is certain. 
but how much we lose depends on whether we go first. Sweet, we lost nothing actually. That's actually really surprising. And uh, no healing potions. So I'm going to have to waste a few movement points, just hang out in the city for a little while. And I'm also going to have my Banshee just hang out near the gold mine. Because sending her forward would just be suicide. And I'm sure they would... One of these rod planters that's here would end up taking the gold anyway. So I'll just leave her there defending it. Well, that's a terrible place for you to stop. I'll be sure to say hello next turn. Maybe I'll just bring the Bone Lord down here. Let the legions have that one gold mine up there. And spend more effort defending the stuff down here. Although they're not very far along just yet. And I do need to take the time to heal. So while I'm doing that, I can be taking out these rod planters. So it's not so bad. But I'm not getting much experience for them anymore. Maybe this guy will have something a little more powerful. But he won't, but, you know, maybe the next one. But we are still getting little bits of experience. And it does mean we can take time to save up gold. Which I've actually got enough now. So let's build... Our dark tower. There we go. Now I just need another 1500. And then another 3,000. And another 3,000. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. There's gotta be a shop somewhere nearby, though. If only the magic tower would, uh take my stuff. I mean, I've got magical items. I wonder if I can sell spells. I doubt it. But that would be interesting. If I could research a spell and then sell it. and then research it again. Yeah, probably not possible. It would be a really roundabout way of uh, transforming extra mana into gold. Although I could sell spells to the other races. Not sure they would accept unless it was like really dirt cheap.
Though I am a little worried about that legions party that's heading towards my city over there. Because there's not really much I can do about it. I mean, I could send Brian back, but then I'd be giving up all of this. So... Not really worth it. As you already know, we are well prepared. Nothing will make us fall back. This is your last chance to save yourselves. Abandon your quest and leave. We are on a quest no mortal can comprehend. Stand not in our way. Galleon must be brought back to life. Your blindness will destroy you. Our holy army will not be vanquished. I seriously doubt that. You may have a holy army, but we've got... I was going to say unholy, but it's not really unholy, it's just undead. But you know, it's still better than yours. Yeah, let's take the mermaid out. Because we should be able to get some good experience from this. Oh, you know what? Probably should have defended there. Although, we could take it out. Eh, maybe not. I was hoping my other two ne necromancers would attack first, but... Did not work out that way. Yeah, the Bone Lord can't deal with him. But that's alright, we don't need to really. Not yet. I said... Yes, please. As you wish. Um, I suppose we should just end our turn. It'll take him another turn to get over here, so... If we have to, we'll run Brian back. He should be able to make it all the way back, actually, with 55 movement points. Plus forest walk and seafaring. Of course, it all depends on what the Empire and the Mountain Clans do. If they push forward too much, I'll have to deal with them first. Alright, not too concerned about that one angel. That I can deal with. Oh, he's actually going to come down this way. That's handy. I don't think I'm actually going to bother trying to fight for the resources here. Not well, uh, not while they've got so many um, rod planting parties. It's just not worth it. I'll be wasting gold planting a rod for 150 gold. Now, in this situation, I'm going to take out this guy, I think. And then... Maybe, just maybe, have enough movement points to go attack the Legion's party. Oh, I sure hope so. We do have a road we can travel across, which... Yes, okay. It's kind of tough. But really, um, not tough enough. 
And it's really nice that he attacked Brian. Sweet. That went really well and got us a bit closer to level four. Just a little bit. All right, so that takes care of that. And I have no Banshee left. But I don't really need one at the moment. I've got three gold mines and I've got a couple mana spots. I'm okay with what I've got. As long as they don't take anything from me. Okay, good. So she didn't quite make it to that gold mine, which means I can kill her before she does. And the mountain clans can't have anything up here too quickly. She's not a problem yet. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. I'd like an easier way to kill that thief, but I'm not gonna have Brian do it unless he gets right in the way. Because I don't need him wasting his movement points. Wow, Brian actually goes before novices. That's intense. Oh wow, he's got 102 initiative. No wonder. <laughs> oh, we didn't quite kill him. Uh, the Necromancer should finish it. But he didn't hit the... Uh, okay, we can do it. Good. So we took him out and we got a couple life potions. Hopefully some health potions as well. Or not. That's okay though. We don't really need any right now. We're actually doing pretty well. Although it would be nice to have a couple extra as backup. Those life potions are really nice though. Because reviving is where it gets really expensive. Alright, so far so good. I can actually start pushing down now. I think. All depends on what they do. I could go kill the elves as well if I wanted to. Not sure if I really do. Because they will definitely damage me pretty heavily. Not sure I feel like dealing with that right now. Oh, okay, so she's really close. I got lucky that she didn't have enough movement points to plant that rod. Because that was really close. Yeah, he's probably off to deal with the... Uh, the legions actually. He's already got a spy in our party after all. Or in our army, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll just leave these guys alone for now. Not really worth it. And I'll push down this way. Right, so they've got a city. Can I take it, though? It's actually taking a risk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, let's try. Oh, God. 
Okay, we actually took out the guy in the back, which helps. And if we can take out the rock giant as well, we actually might pull this off. Okay, it hits hard, but... If we can do just enough damage... Come on, everybody needs to hit here. Okay, maybe not everybody. Wow! A lot of experience for that. I really wish I had the gold for that structure. Jeez. Okay, that was worth it. Definitely. Definitely worth it. Now, if only there were a shop in the area. I could sell off my junk and have enough to uh, get those skeletons up and running. That was a lot tougher than I expected it to be. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother building that right now. I just don't have the money to spare. Whew. I'd like to try to take the city itself as well. But... If it's caught something anywhere close to being as tough as that last one... I'd rather just go home and wait. Yeesh. And I'm not sure I'm even going to bother reviving my... Necromancer until I get the city. Just to make sure he doesn't die again. Oh. Oh, okay, well, it's just a thief. That's not so bad. Yeah, we can probably take the city next turn. And how much gold did we get? 250? Yeah, we're going to need to wait another turn before we can afford to build... Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to run away. <laughs> but we'll do that uh, next episode because we've been doing this for half an hour actually a little more than that almost 35 minutes now it's running a bit long so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time